turn on the TV. Mm -hmm. Channel 2. Okay. Bill the Bohomes knows it, and you should know it, that this case is a glaring example of institutional racism. And we thank Reverend Bobby Baxter and Operation Rise Up for its generous support. There's um, no thanks necessary when you're doing God's work. But what is fighting racism but God's work? And what is resisting oppression but God's work? So we cannot fail. Even when one of our own, one of our best and brightest, is hurled at us time and again, Terry Joseph represents the racist agenda of buildable homes just as she represented the racist agenda of Wildflower Cola. She prevailed back then. But the good Lord is patient and he loves justice. And I promise you, we will rise. We will rise. We. Victor Anuka's cell number from your palm pilot. Thank you. Everything's going to be fine. See you. Hello? I obviously mistook you for someone with integrity. You can't win this case in court, so you're trying it in the press? Trials are public for a reason, Terry. Perhaps you should ask yourself why you want to hide. You're hiding behind Bobby Baxter, allowing him to attack me with things you can't say in court. Reverend Baxter's reference to you defending Wildfly Cola was not my idea. You shouldn't take cases if you're going to be ashamed of yourself for doing so later. I'm not ashamed of anything. Everyone is ashamed of something. You're right. I'm ashamed of the way you're trying this case, and you don't have enough character to be ashamed of yourself. We move that a gag order be imposed in these proceedings to prohibit both sides from talking to the media. We oppose. The public interest is at the heart of this case. Now, we can't place these proceedings under a veil of secrecy. Indeed, we move that cameras be allowed into the courtroom. Mr. Anuka just wants a soapbox to espouse his personal beliefs. Cameras will be disruptive and will waste the court's time and in will no way lead to a fair resolution of this case. Is it fair that you stand upon the shoulders of the oppressed who you now degrade and devalue? Sit down, Reverend Baxter. The entire proceeding is unfair. I told you to sit down. I could have you arrested. But I suspect that is exactly what you want. Deputies, escort Reverend Baxter outside. You can do what you want to black folks, but we stand upon the strength of our Lord. You can't do this, Lord. We shall rise. We shall rise. I need no further demonstration than that to agree with Ms. Joseph. Petitioner's request to have cameras in the court is denied. Here she is, brothers and sisters. The black woman who is helping to desecrate our ancestors. A black woman who for a few silver coins yes. has become a grave snatcher. Care to comment, Miss Joseph? I'm also the black woman who will show the people that your grandstanding is the reason that affordable housing never got built. So what will you do for them then, Reverend Baxter? Will you invite the homeless to come live with you in your 10,000 square foot estate or feed them from your custom-built sub-zero refrigerator? Great. Looks like we have a deal. Reverend Baxter <laughs> will select a new resting place for the remains and buildable homes will pay relocation costs provided it is within city limits. <laughs> I'm pleased that we could come to an understanding. So are we. I'll draw up the settlement papers and have them ready for signatures tomorrow morning. chance that I might be able to steal you away for Operation Rise Up? <laughs> you never know. Sharp as a tack. She's beautiful, too. All right, now. All right. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.